Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. We're going to talk about snowfall chances explained here graphically for you to talk about this system that's coming tonight and into our Tuesday here across the valley. Details are coming up right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Thanks for watching. Here's what you need to know. We're looking at colors here. This is called the 50th percentile chance of snow. Now, the National Weather Service puts this out. It's based on a lot of models, and they have great forecasts, but let's take a deeper dive. So we take a look. This is the 24-hour snowfall forecast. Let's zoom in just a little bit to the area. Here you can see the Northern Plains has a decent chance of some snow. These colors look vibrant, right? What does it mean, and what are the amounts? Let me show you. The 50th percentile is the expected amount. It falls in the middle of what we're expecting to fall. Could be a little higher, a little lower though, but we'll go over that in a second. As we take a look at these colors, the brightest colors go from Minot and near Williston straight down into the James River Valley, just near Fargo, and then sneak on to the outside. Now, this is the 24-hour forecast. We need to sneak this out just a little bit farther to 48 hours. Why? Because the storm really taps into some moisture as it gets into central Minnesota. See what I mean? Look at that. Some serious snowfall potential and look at these numbers as we go through. Now let's go ahead and take a look. As we go from Minot through the Bismarck area, we're expecting upwards of six inches of snow from Minot right through areas north of Bismarck and Mandan and then south into the James River Valley, the Cheyenne River Valley. So there is a decent chance at six inches of snow in these areas sneaking in towards Fargo. What about Grand Forks? Not quite as much and a little bit lower up there in northwest Minnesota. But that's what's expected. Look at Wisconsin, would you? Look at the UP of, well, Michigan. And we're talking one to two feet of snow in these areas. Why? That's Why is that expected? There's a big lake up there that's going to throw a bunch more moisture into the equation. Now, this is the 50th percentile. What if we say this could be really, really heavy in some spots? What kind of heavy is heavy? Let's look at the 90th percentile. This will give us an idea of how much snow might happen in some of these areas. But this is really a low chance of it. Only maybe 10% of the area will get this much. But here's what we're showing. Some could see 10 inches to a foot, according to this, on the 90th percentile side on this yellow band going through the southern Red River Valley, the James River Valley, and most of central Minnesota. So while that average is expected to be near six, we could have isolated pockets of 10 inches of snow. Don't look. Are you kidding me? 32 inches of winter fluff out there in the UP and northern Wisconsin. How about Marshfield out here? Now it's 4.8. That's a little better. Now let's go to the low side. You've all been there. We've had storms come through the area and it's like, well, by golly, we just didn't get very much snow. I think they were wrong on this. Yeah, there's a chance because we've all seen it. One side of town gets a lot of rain or snow and the other side of town has a different amount. So because precipitation can be very variable over short distances, this is the lower end. So what I like to think of is this. On the lower end, this is mostly going to happen. Along that heavier band of snow, three inches is going to be a likely from between Williston and Minot straight through areas just north of Bismarck, Mandan. Here in the southern Red River Valley, we're talking about those temperatures that will be equivalent for snow as opposed to rain. And therefore, we'll have that three to four inch band moving through this area all the way across Minnesota where that lower potential for snow increases to a half a foot to a foot. So that's one way of looking at it. Here's Hutch's forecast to wrap this whole puppy up. And then we'll talk more or a little later, I want you to tune in for a live event. Bring your questions. Uh, again, let me know in the comments if you like this type of a forecast. Do you want to know the ranges where, you know what, one side of a town might get three inches. I'm expecting six. A few of you could have as much as 10. So would you rather see a, a forecast with a number three to 10 inches? Or would you rather see what Hutch thinks? Tell me your comments in the items below. Here's Hutch's forecast, though. Nonetheless, now this is a 24 hours out, so there could be a little bit of a shift in the system. But I do got to say, I'm liking the way this is starting out. The pink area here, think of the three inches. Going to be likely in these areas. Six inches is going to be more on point. And plus, for some of you, I put isolated eight just because I'm being conservative with this. Could we see a 10-inch report? It could happen. All right, now one to four up here toward Grand Forks. One is likely. 
four, not as likely, but it's possible. And then I've got four likely across most of Minnesota with eight or more inches of snow, as particularly as we get into that I-35 corridor out here towards Duluth superior and that's your forecast let me know what you think thanks for watching thanks for your trust remember hutchesweather.com for the very latest in your weather information as this event unfolds my friends at OK Tire here have the road condition report provided for you right on hutchesweather.com anytime, anywhere. You click on that puppy no matter what state you're traveling through. Here's what's going on as we take a look. Snow already impacting parts of North Dakota out west there as we go through. Yellow on the roads, by the way, snow covered roads. You can turn on the cameras here. This is a pro tip and you can take a look at what it really looks like out in these areas just near the Williston area and west. And oh my goodness. We got flakes of flying out there. So that's the road report, but a little bit below the road report, if you scroll down the snow accumulation map, similar to what we just showed you, don't forget to hit the play button over here. It'll just sit, sit there still, but if you hit the play, it's gonna load the data, show you the track of the heavier bands of snow and where they are heading so that you can stay ahead of the storm with Hutch's weather. This Thanksgiving, if the family starts arguing about who ruined the stuffing, just quietly grab the remote, turn on Hutch's weather, and say, shh, I need to hear this part. I'll give you 90 seconds of peace. Maybe more if there's a storm. From all of us at Hutch's weather, happy Thanksgiving, and good luck around that table. Anywhere, anytime, at Hutch'sWeather.com.